this this is this is just one of the best <laughs> title things. Hello everyone, my name is Emma and welcome to The Lights Went Out. This is made by 616 Games. I played Indicted, which is on Steam, and they've got a ton of other games. This one is on Itch. The other games are on Itch as well. They've got a huge list. Uh, they call it the Trash Horror Collection. So yeah, go and check that out if you want. Otherwise, let's get into it. Also, my editor, Kevin, go and check him out, he's in the link in the description, is in the game. Yes. My name is Oliver. It's not easy to do something. I worked nights at a gas station. Every day I took the same route with my car. But that night, I discovered what hell is. Why is there a head on the bed? And that's how the lights went out. I stopped on the road to take a piss. I was already late for work. <sighs> Oh, I'm in the game, aren't I? Okay, hang on. Do I need to take a piss or has the piss been taken? Okay, those be horror noises out there. This wind is um, carrying some heavy noises with it. What am I doing? Oh, ha, right. I'm Australian. Our wheel's on the other side of the car. I'm in this fucking rat. And let me just... Now, let me just... Ah, here we go. I can't... Hang on, if I go backwards... No, there's no backwards. There's no reverse in this game. I need to remember to stay on this side of the road. Working at night is not easy. It seemed like I was t always tired. Well, that's just... You sleep, man. Oh, sorry. I took my foot off the accelerator. Should have taken my car to the mechanic. Had been showing defects for a long time. No, I think that was just me taking my finger off the W key. Yeah, see, I mean, it has the best brakes though. The car will just stop on command. There's no G-force or anything. I wasn't used to solving my problem so quickly. I was settled and following a routine. I can partially understand that. Great. Press E. I was desperate, I didn't know what to do. This road is long and inhospitable. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty rad, rad moon. I just run into work at this point, not trying to put my car into neutral and put it to the side of the road so no one gets into an accident because there's a random car that's sitting on the end, edge of the road, in the middle of the road. Uh, then I remember there was a house near here. I see it every day. Do you? because I can't see it. I was feeling st a strange sensation. Something didn't seem right. Was it the moon? Oh, I think I can see a house over there. After walking a little, I saw the house. I decided to go there and ask for help. It looked like a normal house, but I didn't see anyone. Thonk. H hello, is that just, are they giant flies? What is going on? I knocked on the door, but no one answered. I decided to go around behind the house, because that's the next logical thing to do. Someone left the pizza open. That's why there's so many flies. No other weird reason. It was an open door. I decided to go in. I really needed help. The house had a strange energy and smell. A horrible smell. It's probably the pizza that's been left over and the bin that's been completely filled. The house really looked abandoned. I need to phone to call for help. I'm going upstairs. The smell was unbearable on the second floor. There seemed to be something rotten. Probably the pizza. Hello, I'm in need of a... Holy mother of God. I, I would never forget that scene. Dismembered body, lots of blood. I need to run away from there. Or we could just keep looking at it. Alright, but... Oh. I blinked and missed it. What, what happened? Was there someone at the end of the stair- at the bottom of the stairs? Well, I'm still alive. I ran down the stairs, but there was someone standing there waiting for me. He wore black clothes and a sinister mask. So I ran back upstairs again. You mean the mask that's on the bed right now? I was very scared. I couldn't think straight. I decided to hide in a closet. Suddenly, I started to hear some footsteps. Thank you. 
I was motionless. I could only see through a gap in the closet. I'm surprised the killer or whatever didn't like follow me up straight away. That just looked like a model of me with a mask on. <laughs> Did they cheap out? How dare they cheap out on the gay? Am I meant to be? Oh, okay, yep. Yeah. Well, I don't hear him moving past the the orchestra that's also hiding in the back of this closet. I need to get away from this place as quickly as possible. Yeah, okay. The garage door was trapped. I was trapped inside. The garage door opened. All I thought it was running away, so I just run into the garage door. Run outside. I ran towards my car, I was scared to death, I felt like someone was watching me. I mean, th there's a killer somewhere. Summer, isn't he? He left me alive, but changed me. My life forever. As he cut my face, he said, I'm giving you meaning to life. I love seeing th the landscapes. I love seeing the sunlight reflecting on the plants. Now I live in the dark, always hiding in the shadows, but I can't give myself up. So I said to myself, YOLO. Oof. Damn, okay. Okay. Well, that was interesting. It was simple. It was very simple. But, like, it was an interesting, like, horror story. Yeah, I don't really think I have much to say about it, to be honest. Thank you, everyone, so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like the video, please. Subscribe if you're new. Especially if you've made it this far to the video, through the video. Like, seriously, come on. And also, check out the dev. Uh, they've got a ton of games to play and check out Kevin because he's got a ton of videos to watch. Otherwise, uh, check me out on my, all my socials and I'll see you all in another one. Bye-bye.